is Mike Stanger with your market update for 16th of December 2022. This week, uh, March corn ended down half a cent at 6.53, a uh, relatively quiet day overall, um, up nine cents for the whole week. Uh, it's pretty good move, mostly because of exports um, and a little bit off the, the Russia-Ukraine conflict still going on. It's going to be Looks like that's going to be ongoing for a while. Um, exports are up, but they're, I mean, they're, they're moving up right now, but they're still down about 48% from last year. So uh, ethanol demand's not looking very good. Um, it's kind of a, mm -hmm. kind of a big thing happening for, for the corn markets right now. Soybeans, uh, January soybeans closed up six and a half cents at 1480 today mm -hmm. uh, it's down three and three quarters for the week kind of staying below the 15 dollar mark overall um you know it, i think it's holding fairly steady um a lot of bean movement right now is kind of based off brazil's soybean crop they're looking at a record high 5.58 billion bushels uh depending on the weather so that's been the uh, brazil's weather has been pretty favorable few places are i think a little dry right now but it looks like it's going to be overall a good crop for them so that's something to look into but the biggest thing helping beans right now is just demand people want the beans uh really kind of helping the bean market stay at the levels they're at uh, overall we hope they stay up based off input prices um and wheat uh wheat fell 16 and a half cents 844 finished up 11 cents for the wheat week but it's not able to just kind of hold on for for dear life right now just trying to get something movement it's just it's a it's a lot to do with the inflation uh u.s dollar interest rates all that so um overall for the week had an okay week in the markets i guess uh you know people would like to see the prices a little bit better i think but i mean overall it's it's nothing nothing i think we can't handle um, and you know, as, as always, it's, it's not too early to start looking at next year's crop. Um, you know, we're, we closed out this week, uh, cash corn at, <clears throat> uh, you know, 653 futures, December corn, we're sitting at 597. So for the most part, you'd be probably looking at around anywhere from th 530 to 540 ish on your new crop corn for next year uh you know cash beans at 1480 futures you know new crop we're we're sitting right around that 1389 1390 so you'll be looking right around 13 dollars on new wheat um or new beans i apologize so i would just keep an eye on those prices it's never too early to start if you can lock in a profit it's not a bad place to start locking in a profit thank you very much